Hello and welcome to Jerwick Today. My name is Dumi Lapo, bringing you the best of what's going down in and around Johannesburg. Egyptian and South African visual digital art was featured side by side in the rotating exhibition room during the recent Fagu Gez Digital Innovation Festival. The four Egyptian works were all part of the Middle East's largest digital festival, Cairo Chanika, earlier this year. Their work is concerned with um, Middle Eastern or African um, 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 theme or um, a problem or um, um, a topic they want to talk about. I don't want to call them films because they are not cinematic. They're more videos, video art. They are using moving image. So sometimes they are uh, clips or uh, animated GIFs in a format of film uh, or video. You. Also, one of the artists whose um, artwork has been um, exhibited. Yes. Can you maybe tell us about your artwork and why you did it? Uh, yes, actually, I'm a part of a collective called Foundland, and uh, we are um, showing uh, a video called Baby Come Home. It was commissioned in the Netherlands last year to uh, react on an old, uh, a very famous internet work made by a Russian artist, uh, very famous artist, uh, Olia Liliana. It's made in the 90s and she was actually from the artist who started to use internet as space to make artwork. And it's about contact, how people use uh, a digital sphere and social media to have contact with each other and what does contact mean actually. So uh, in our film we feature a conversation on WhatsApp between a mother and a son. The mother, she is home in her country, uh, probably in the West somewhere, and her son, he, he volunteered in jihadi groups. So actually you could sense the intimate relation between mother and son, but also you could sense how, um, how they, they, uh, the gap between them, uh, that they belong to different worlds. Uh, and, but using this digital media as a way to reach a contact again. So it's this kind of um, unease that internet or social media creates. There were also South African films. As a visual artist, what jumped out to you from what you saw in the other artworks? Actually, I was really interested in how in South Africa, social media, um, what I mean with social media and the internet is because they provide also like tool and different spheres that you don't really see in public. Uh, that that uh, artists here, they have really a uh, specific way to approach those spheres and to use them to discuss different issues. And it's, it's really important for their, um, what they call uh, African identity. So I was really amazed by that, how they um, developed also a way to to cooperate their work inside those spaces. So I met many artists who they call them, themselves that they have Insta fame and they are really they're showing their artworks on, on Instagram, for example, like they're really claiming the digital sphere to, to show their work because they believe the normal public domain has no space. And what about the South African audience compared to the Egyptian audience for this type of artwork? Uh, there is many similarity in a way. It's it's young uh, it's young audience, uh, very um, passionate about um, about um, about digital media and electronics and uh, about this kind of tools. The differences is the context and traditions, of course. I think at the moment in uh, in Cairo, the audience is very aware of all this technology and what's happened, but uh, the the relation to art is still. Uh, young, it's still like um, in development. How we relate all these uh, tools and digital um, equipment we have and we use daily, and see it in an artistic context and uh, appreciate what's coming from these tools as an art piece. I think here is more um, maybe developed a little bit more, but I think, um, yeah. In a way, it's also like in Cairo, it's more political, it's about language and tradition, so it's, it's, it's really nice to collaborate. Like us on Facebook, JoeBigToday.tv, and follow us on Twitter at JoeBigToday. The Gau Train partnered with Book Boon as an initiative that allows consumers, especially students, to download textbooks for free for the next 12 months.
With it being Literacy Month, the Khao Train partnered with Bookben to make professional and business e-books available for the Khao Train commuters. This partnership between the two enables free and efficient access to over 2,000 textbooks and books on various topics. Well, I, th I think it's a, it's a natural fit. Uh, public transport is something that allows you to uh, have time on the train, how you can use your time. That's the first part, and I think the second part is we, we are a country in Africa that has a huge youth population. They are the first uh, private company, even though they are not a private company, if you understand me, uh, in South Africa to contribute to the education of uh, tertiary students in South Africa. And now they've taken this wonderful step of making the network available to anybody traveling on the car train. So you don't just have to listen to hip hop or war Bach or whatever you want to be listening to. You can, you can actually be listening, or not so much listening, but actually reading the books that are available to you. I think we want to blend two things. It's really people who, who have made a choice of using public transport. We want to make that experience more enriching, more uplifting, and more stimulating. This would be a, a major boost for them. Uh, university is an expensive business, both in terms of tuition fees, but also accommodation, your food, and then the learning materials. It's extremely expensive. And what this does is that it gives free access to a body of knowledge to any young person who has access to Wi-Fi. To find out more about this initiative, log on to www.bookburn.com. Select your desired topic, complete the short registration process, then click to download. I'm Puma Shoho for your work today. Hello everyone, my name is Kanyam Kangisa and you are watching Joburg Today. That's all for today, but do check out our playlist. From myself, Dumin Tlapo and the Joburg Today crew, it's goodbye. Mm -hmm.